Today, we have reached another important phase of the uh, midterm corvette project for the Pakistan Armed Forces. I believe that these ships will undertake vital tasks in the defense of your country, will be beneficial to the Pakistan Armed Forces and the, uh, that they will contribute to peace and stability in the region and around the world. Taking this opportunity, I would like to underline some of the developments you already know. It was also my honor to participate in the key laying ceremony of the second Miljam, Miljam Corvette, PNS Baldur, which was uh, held in uh, October 2020, ceremony of this, uh, in, uh, at the Karachi here in the shipyard. Now it's uh, another great pleasure for me to participate in the launching ceremony of this ship. The Miljam class Corvettes will be one of the most technologically advanced stealth surface platforms of the uh, Pakistan Navy. These vessels are equipped with the state-of-the-art weapons and modern sensors, including surface-to-surface -surface and the surface-to-air missiles, and the submarine weapons and advanced command and control system, and will add significantly to the uh, Pakistan Navy's capabilities. The first ship of the class, PNS Barber, constructed in Turkey for the Pakistan Navy, was launched on August 2021 during, the, during a ceremony which was held at the Istanbul Military Shipyard. His Excellency President Recep Tayyip Erdogan and His Excellency President Arif Ali attended at the occasion, as you know. PNS Power will be commissioned in 2023, while the second ship of the class, PNS Powers, is planned to be commissioned by 2024, inshallah. The third ship of the class, PS Khaybar, will be launched later this year in Istanbul and will be delivered to the Pakistan Navy in 2024. The fourth ship, PS Sar, which is also to be built in Karachi, will be commissioned in 2025. Of course, time is important, and the timely realization of such a large project, according to the uh, principles of the lowest cost, high quality and the shortest time, despite the uh, negative effects of global COVID-19 uh, pandemic, is also important because this will show our joint project management capabilities, work discipline and the determination as stated by the, my and the colleagues before me. Fortunately, in the defense industry, we still have to reach a high level where we lead produce and the pioneer. In this context, the major projects are developing rapidly and they are a sign of technological independence as well. It is important also to note that in this project, the construction and installation of the vessels are carried out with the participation of local institutions, organizations and the companies. I believe that we will continue to increase the number of such projects which are critical to both our country's security and technological independence. And I believe, wholeheartedly I believe, we will succeed. Our region and the Islamic geography as a whole are going through a difficult period, as you notice. During such a delicate time, we are surrounded by the areas in multiple crises. So, there is a huge responsibility placed on our shoulders by our history and civilization.